Hello, dear friends. Joe Buddy, Poet WP here again. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are saying to yourself, okay, I've seen a few of these guys' videos maybe. You know, he's a little out there. He seems a little nutty to me. What kind of crazy, fucked up simulation is this? Another one of these simulations we've got to deal with in this bullshit reality. Well, um, I'm going to assure you, my friends, this is not a simulation. This here is a simulacra. So, um, many of you probably wonder, man, this cat's fucking intense. Jeez, he comes, he's coming in with this, like, Love, peace, harmony stuff one day, and the next day he's coming in with, like, fire and brimstone. Your fuckers are going to go to hell <laughs> if you don't quit giving us suffering and deception. Which is what my whole message is when I get talking on fire and brimstone. The great deceivers, you know, their time is at an end, and now they're going to have to go sit in a retirement home and think about all the things they did. <laughs> and probably go nuts about it. They they all have this concept that, like, us people of good heart want to just, like, you know, come and, uh, you know, do some kind of purge situation or something. Yeah, right, motherfucker. That's your heart. That's not our hearts. That's not our hearts at all. We don't want to do that. None of us do. It's all you right-wingers talking about, oh, this is a fucking civil war, civil war. Motherfucker, there's not going to be any civil war. We're all one people, okay? We already had that. We already did that shit. Believe me, I fucking fought in it. Oh, there we go, saying, sharing things I'm not supposed to say yet. Yeah, I've had a lot of past life regressions. I fought in the Civil War. We don't have to have another fucking Civil War, okay? I died in that fucker when I was 23 years old, with my gut strapped to my chest, and a cutlass in one hand and a fucking revolver in the other, going out like a fucking champ. As I got filled full of holes. And then I fell. And the last thing my consciousness heard was, God damn, that Yankee motherfucker just wouldn't go down. Yeah, there's a little taste of a past life regression memory for you. It just sort of popped out of me. Talking about the Civil War. That's why I get so fucking pissed off. See, I've had these past life regression memories. I'm aware of these things. Many of them. I'm aware of a few of them. I haven't had all of them, but I've had quite a few. And meditation and meditation. Spirit God takes you there and teaches you lessons course you know it could all be in my head right it could all be in my imagination who knows who knows but i don't think it's real i believe it's real and therefore it is because what you believe you are is what you become what you believe is becomes your reality so uh, it's just a matter of actually seeing it in reality and pulling it forth out of the ether <laughs> so yeah who is this guy why does he talk like this what's his deal man he talks with such certainty what's jesus who the fuck knows this who knows who knows who what do you know what do you know? Well, it's in my character. It's built into my character. What do you know? Not only am I an Aries. <clears throat> now, this is going to be trippy for you astrologists, maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, I'm an Aries. Aries Leo. Aries, Aries Leo. Triple fire sign, baby. I'm like, flame on. <laughs> so... Yeah, I got a lot of fire. A lot of fire. You can't move the Aries. Especially not the Aries Aries. Leo? Yeah, I'm hard-headed. Hard-headed. I'm just like that Ram. Like that truck. I think it was a Dodge commercial, of course. Ram. That truck commercial. I'll quit moving. I'm probably making you dizzy. Sorry. Uh, the fucking ADD sway. Anyway. Uh, the Dodge commercial. I don't know if you guys remember, but like, there's a black truck, right, with a real shiny paint job, and the, and the, the, the ram, like, sees its reflection, and it just, boom, boom, smacks into the side of the truck over and over again. <clears throat> That's me. That's me. I'm a ram standing in front of a mirror, a real strong mirror, and I see my own reflection. And I say, what? What's that fucking ram standing in front of me? And for many, many lifetimes... I looked right into that mirror and the ram, and I said, nope. Poof. 
hit my horns up again. No, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I will not move. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. <laughs> Isn't that what we all do? <coughs> Except the ram doesn't move. He <laughs> just stands there. Boom, boom, boom. You're wrong. You're wrong. No. So, yeah. Uh, and I thought of other metaphor within this too, than the whole mirror and the shattering the mirror and the God and consciousness and all that. And the, well, you know, all the metaphors. So in life after life, I'm standing in front of this mirror, smacking my head against my own reflection, right? And eventually the mirrors break, you know, you break a mirror, you look down, shit, the fucker broke. Look at all the little pieces. You look at yourself in the mirror, the little smaller pieces. You look at your face in the little smaller pieces and smaller pieces. And you know what? Shit, those little pieces are too small to hit. Too small to hit. And you look at the little pieces and even though they're all in little pieces, they all still have your reflection in them, don't they? Wow. Hmm. They do, don't they? They sure do. See what I'm saying? We're all a reflection of God. We're all just shatters. The mirror broke. They put up another mirror. The mirror breaks. Another age, another mirror, another age, another mirror, another age, another mirror. And then we all look down and see our pieces. Our fractured pieces. All with our own reflections in them. Such is the nature of the world, in my opinion. But until we start realizing the mirror is our reflection, we are each other. And then when the mirror is broken and all the little pieces are on the ground, guess what? It's still just your reflection. So we're all one, you see. And as like Bill Hicks said, as I'm thumbing up some Bill Hicks videos lately, trying to get you guys to watch them. I'm a Bill Hicks disciple, if you will. Which is not to say I follow him as a religion. I just think he was a prophet of God, like George Carlin and Maynard James Keenan and Trent Reznor. You, 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 we've been looking for prophets in the wrong places. A lot, of, a lot of them are comedians and rock stars. Sorry to say. <laughs> rock and roll wasn't the devil after all. I mean, certain parts of it were, but... Like anything else, it spans the full range of uh, energies. It's not all Slayer. Okay, so. But, uh. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I do. Why I do, why I do. Why I'm so fucking hard headed. Why I'm full of fire. Kundalini fire energy. But, uh, yeah, and then to make matters more sorted, I was supposed to be a Taurus. I was born early. Because I was born early, I was an Aries. Should have been a Taurus, Aries, Leo. But I wanted out early. Much the same way I am in this cycle of reincarnation. I wanted... <laughs> I wanted to trans. I want to transcend in this life. I'm like, no, nah, I may have a few more lives, but let's just go ahead and get all the karma out of the way in this life. I'm tired of reincarnating in this motherfucker. It's getting old. It's getting old. I've, I've, I've learned the lessons. I've repeated so many mistakes over and over again. So, yeah, that's my path. Perfect the karma. No more reincarnation. Rejoin with Godhead, as they say. <laughs> And who knows what mysteries lie there. I think once you get there, you can probably just do whatever the hell you want. As long as it's within the spirit of God and uh, goodness and, uh, you know, the collective, as they say in Star Trek. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, this is just a rambling video, you know. So, yeah, I was, I was supposed to be a Taurus. Ended up in Aries, Aries, Leo. And you say, oh, yeah, you pretentious fool. You chose the name Gabriel Samadhi, right? Ooh, that's a big fucking title there, boy. It's a lot to live up to. Well, you're right. But, uh, 
Why? Why did I choose that name? Well, I've always loved the name Gabriel. I've always been fascinated with angels. I've always been obsessed with God. It's part of my brain chemistry. I was born with a very specific type of brain. It's extremely rare, actually. Um, of course, the uh, I don't really want to talk about that. But it's true, though. Um, I was born with a rare form of epilepsy. Temporal lobe epilepsy. All temporal lobe epileptics spend their lives obsessed with God and in transitory states. And they spend most of their lives trying to, at least the, the type that I am anyway, we spend most of our lives trying to come out of a trance. But I... And then you outgrow it. It's, 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 a, it's a condition of youth. You feel like you have an out-of-body experience all the time. You're given to spirit flight. And um, that was really, really hard for me. That was a When you spend half your childhood in a semi-catatonic state, it's no day at the park, let me tell you. you know, I don't even really want to talk about what it was like. Because it was not any fun. Um, but then you grow, you grow up and generally they grow out of it. Well, you grow up and you get into your early 20s and a lot of times it will go away. Well, mine didn't really go away. I, I just gained control of it. I gained control of it. Now I manipulated it well. That's how I meditate. And now I no longer go into limbo negative states. My energy is not in that anymore. I go into positive states. So yeah, that temporal lobe is disconnected with me. So I can just... <sighs> spirit flight. But... So yeah, that's why. That's why. The temporal lobe epileptic mind. And, um... <clears throat> there's, a, there's a good documentary about it. it. talks about how we're all fascinated. Not fascinated, obsessed. Born obsessed with God. Um... And then to make things even weirder... I was born on April 13th. 4-13. Let your numerology minds that out there run away with that, whatever that means. Well, I looked up the, uh, you know, I, I'm a mystical dude, so I look up all this kind of shit. Uh, at one point a while back, I looked up, like, what tarot card responds to your, your uh, birthday or whatever. Mine was the death card, which the death card means rebirth. Not literal death, mostly. I mean, it, it, you tarot card readers, could, you, you know what the death card means. It doesn't mean, mean literal death. Almost never does it mean literal, literal death. It means rebirth, renewal, a new start. And death. Gabriel is the angel of death. Uh, renunciation, revelation. Annunciation, revelation, death. And vengeance. So I picked the name Gabriel because my assigned tarot card is the death card. Gabriel's the angel of death. So there's a little explanation about who I am. Why is this cat on here yelling at us about God and politics and shit? Jesus, this motherfucker's intense. Whoa, bring it down a notch, bro. I know that's what a lot of you are thinking. Well, see, the thing is, man, I come to you when I'm in, like, deep, deep, deep states of uh, fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever I got those angry videos, I don't sit and dwell with the anger, man. It's not like that for me at all. At all. The anger's over when the video's over. That's the whole point of the video. Uh, the only time I'm angry in life unless somebody's in my face giving me shit, is, uh, is when I do these videos, usually. Just because I'm getting it out. I'm getting it out, you see? It's the creative expression. I don't sit around and dwell with all this shit. No, man, I clear that energy immediately. This ain't my first rodeo. 
So don't worry about me being like, oh, he's so angry. He's so angry. This poor kid. I'm not a kid anymore. He's so angry. He's so angry. I hope he's okay. Jesus, he needs to calm down. Don't worry about me. When I'm not on the video ranting and raving at you guys, believe me, I'm as calm as a Hindu cow. <laughs> as Tyler Durden says in uh, Fight Club. Anyway, going on fit, over 15 minutes now. I guess that's enough explanation about who the fuck this dude is. Who's this? I walk in, everybody's like, who the fuck is this dude? Okay, that's me. Love it or hate it, but I love y'all anyway. Thank you. Bye-bye.